Hi there, students. To gussy up. Okay, to gussy up. Um, we use this in two ways, but they're very similar. To gussy up means to put on uh, fancy clothes, to put on good-looking clothes, so that you look really uh, handsome or really beautiful. Yeah? So, uh, I'm just going to gussy up before the party. Okay, to put on nice clothes, to make myself look really nice. And then from that, you can use it more figuratively or more openly, just to make something look nice, to make it look much more attractive. So you can't just put cold potatoes like that on the plate. Why don't you gussy them up a bit with a little bit of onion and garlic and a little bit of mayonnaise on the top, and it suddenly looks like a, a potato salad. Okay, to spruce up, to make something look better. Okay, so either to get dressed smartly. Um, he's all gussied up and uh, re ready to uh, go to the wedding. Yeah, people tend to gussy up for a wedding. They gussy themselves up. Notice, separa a separable phrasal verb. Um, let's see, this restaurant, it looks rather dingy and dim, so I would strongly suggest that you gussy it up. Notice, I think this, this phrasal verb is much more American than British. I think you could use it in British English, but it's definitely uh, uh, an, an, of American origin. Um, let's see, apparently, um, I was worried with origin, apparently this verb to gussy up, this phrasal verb, used to exist in the 1930s, um, but it gained a lot of popularity when uh, an American tennis player, gorgeous Gussie Moran, went to Wimbledon in London, and she wore frilly panties, you know, these great big frilly um, panties that tennis stars well, they used to wear. They don't wear them anymore, though. And that's where the uh, the, the the phrase "gussy up" really took off. Yeah, to look like Gussie Moran. <coughs> okay, so to gussy up, to make yourself look look smart, to dress up and and uh, make yourself fantastic. So I'll just dull myself up. I'll just make myself look uh, better. And then uh, maybe uh, you need to gussy up your essay to make it look more attractive. Why don't you put some more, some sprinkle a few adjectives and adverbs into your essay, and that will gussy it up. So notice again, a separable will gussy it up. Um, as to formality, this is an informal phrasal verb. I think I would give it a four in formality. Um, I would I would only use it in an informal conversation. I wouldn't use it in anything semi-formal or formal. Um, so w what would I say? Yes, to make more attractive, to beautify. That would be a better one. Uh, to uh, dress smartly, to dress elegantly, something like that. Um, and notice as well, it's a regular verb. He gussied up for the party. He has gussied up and looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, gussied up in that party dress. She looks absolutely ravishing. Yeah, she looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, I think you can also probably use gussy as a verb on its own, meaning to decorate something in a showy way. Yeah, so uh, the uh, cake was gussied with beautiful ornaments. The cake was really rather boring. You need to gussy it up. You mean, need to make it look more attractive, and that's the idea of it. So, to gussy up, to make something look more attractive, or to, uh, yes, to dress smartly, particularly for an occasion. Uh, we're going to a smart restaurant tonight, so uh, I hope everybody comes gussied up. And that Alex doesn't come in jeans and a t-shirt again. I hope he gussies up. And then to gussy something up to make it look more attractive. Yeah, you're going to have to find a way to gussy up your essay. Yeah, um, if you're going to sell this flat, you really need to gussy it up. A coat of paint and... Uh, 
uh, a few flowers might uh, do wonders to help you sell it. So enough, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now, to Gussie Up.